when driving back over the old cape road with false bay in the distance you might spot the immaculate layout of Steenberg golf club beneath the mountain as you go through the gate you might think that you have arrived at a winery but as you follow the signs past the five-star hotel surrounded by oaks you will see the bungalow style clubhouse awaiting as you check in at the pro shop and then head for the practice area you realize you're in for a delightful day on this manicured course designed by peter makovich the practice facilities are excellent with a full-on driving range just across the road from the clubhouse a large putting and chipping area within spitting distance of your tee boxes the club was first opened in 1995 and is one of the oldest golf estates in South Africa. The houses surrounding the fairways are very upmarket and the estate has attracted a number of well-known sporting and entertainment celebrities. So, time to hit the little white ball as we join Ian Kennedy, the club's golfing director, at the first. The front nine heads out from the clubhouse and then in on the lower part of the estate. Even though you're in the middle of suburban Cape Town, you still feel you're right out in the country. The seventh is one of the feature holes on the front nine and is a charming par three set on an island surrounded by sand and then water. So your tee shot has to be accurate. All around the course, there are plenty of flowers and attractive features. We're now heading off to the back nine, which climbs up the mountain. And soon we join Ian on one of the most challenging holes on the course. Here we are at the 14th hole, one of our feature holes here at Steenberg. The green, well, it's huge, but if you miss the green, you're invariably going to be in the sand. The mountains behind the Steenberg Mountains frame the hole beautifully, and the fame boss around it, well, you don't want to go in there either, because it can make the hole especially tricky. I think you'll enjoy playing this hole, and let's see how we do. As you can see, I've, I narrowly missed one of these bunkers. However, I'm safely on the green. Tricky little putt straight downhill. Let's see how I do. Okay, check this out. We're on our 15th hole, which is our stroke one. A daunting tee shot with a pop bunker at about 260 meters on the left-hand side followed by a series of four bunkers on the right. You want to avoid these, these bunkers if you want to play this hole in the par or better. Let me see how we can do. I'm playing off the championship team. At the very top of the course, the views are excellent as you turn for the final two holes. Well, I've just finished off with a birdie on our par five finishing hole which is a fantastic risk and reward hole. Thanks to the consistently good power anywhere greens which we have at Steenberg, I was able to make my putt but now to something else that's consistently good, our 19th hole. Steenberg is an all-round experience, from relaxing in the bar or having lunch in the restaurant or perhaps utilizing the resident PGA Pro to fix one of your shots. You realize why so many visitors come to this club every year. 